In the early afternoon of November 2, 2023, an event unfolds in the heart of the Gobi Desert in Inner Mongolia, positioned on a patchy expanse of concrete flanked by hangars and commonly referred to as Launchpad 120, a solitary stage rocket awaits. This rocket, known as Hyperbola 2Y, bears distinctive features such as grid fins, landing legs and a logo beneath the Chinese flag. It is the handiwork of iSpace, a Chinese commercial launch enterprise established in 2016, venturing into the realm of vertical takeoff and vertical landing, a domain pioneered by SpaceX in achieving reusability. Hyperbola 2Y VTVL demonstration. At 2 p.m. local time, the solitary methanol-powered engine of the Hyperbola 2Y is ignited, generating 15 tons of thrust and propelling the test rocket upwards to 178 meters. After a brief hover, the rocket stage executes a precisely controlled vertical descent, landing back on the same launch pad less than 2 meters from its initial liftoff position with a velocity of 0.1 km per hour. What has just been witnessed represents China's latest and most significant step towards rocket reusability, akin to SpaceX's achievements. It's noteworthy that although other Chinese commercial enterprises have been exploring similar avenues, their progress has been limited to conducting low-altitude hops with small single-stage prototypes equipped with low-thrust engines. These engines are not designed for orbital rockets and, in certain instances, they've even resorted to using jet engines. In-depth look, the Hyperbola 2Y rocket. On the flip side, iSpace's Hyperbola 2Y represents the initial stage of a forthcoming rocket, the Hyperbola 2Y. This next-gen rocket is designed as a reusable, two-stage, liquid-fueled, medium-lift launch vehicle equipped with nine of iSpace proprietary Methalox engines iSpace has demonstrated a strong commitment to reusability through the development and testing of grid fins, landing legs, and highly adaptable Jam-1 engines, crucial for rocket recovery. The immediate objective for iSpace is to conduct hops at altitudes of 1 km and 10 km, with the potential for a groundbreaking launch of the Hyperbola 2Y in 2024, positioning it as the first non-SpaceX reusable orbital rocket globally. However, Recent indications from iSpace suggest a shift in strategy. The Hyperbola 2Y may now serve solely as a technology validation tool, with plans to forego its development in favour of a larger endeavour, the Hyperbola 3. This decision raises questions about the rationale behind moving away from the prospect of launching a reusable rocket within the next 12 to 18 months. Challenges faced by Hyperbola 2Y. The Hyperbola 2Y would have faced stiff competition due to its payload capacity of approximately two tons for orbital descent. It would have vied against established Chinese commercial solid field rockets such as the Geelong 3, the Kuizhou 11 and the Kinetica 1, along with smaller solid field rockets tailored for fast response missions. Meanwhile, the Hyperbola 2Y would have contended with liquid-fueled rockets from competitors like Space Pioneer, Landspace and Galactic Energy for deploying large-scale constellations into low Earth orbits. Thus the Hyperbola 2Y would have found itself at a disadvantage in both scenarios. The impact of Chinese Starlink, Guang. Allow me to elaborate on the most coveted program pursued by Chinese space launch firms, which likely centers around deploying the Guang mega constellation. Essentially, China's answer to Starlink, this initiative involves the launch of approximately 12,000 satellites. As indicated by Long Lehao in early 2023, several Chinese commercial launch companies have explicitly positioned their liquid-fueled launch vehicles as ideal for deploying extensive satellite internet constellations. Recently, Jeff Crowley, co-CEO of Orion Space, hinted at government requests for commercial entities to have a rocket capable of carrying significant payloads into orbit by 2025. Reflecting on this demand, it's evident that the Hyperbola 2 with its two-ton orbit limitation falls short for deploying satellite internet constellations efficiently necessitating numerous launches. In contrast, competitors like iSpace, Space Pioneer, Galactic Energy Landspace and Ryan Space are introducing rockets with higher payload capacities, slated for rollout between 2024 and 2025. Consequently, iSpace aims to leapfrog to the development of the Hyperbola 3, anticipating substantial revenue from these commercial launch endeavors. iSpace's current challenges. Now, this sales pitch might hit a snag, Despite iSpace's recent milestone with the Hyperbola 2Y vertical landing this month, venturing into developing a new heavy-lift rocket entails significant costs and time. 
While iSpace has made strides with their next generation engine, the Jan 2 boasting heavier thrust, there's still a considerable distance to cover within a tight time frame. Their last funding round dates back to August 2020, almost three and a half years ago. It's likely they'll need more funding, unlike competitors such as Landspace, Space Pioneer and Galactic Energy, iSpace lacks a reliable smaller lift rocket to generate revenue in the interim, although they do have the Hyperbola 1. Its track record is questionable, marked by multiple failures for various reasons. In essence, we anticipate further advancements in Chinese reusable rocket technology over the next 12 to 18 months. We may even witness the inaugural or additional launches by iSpace given its lead in this domain. However, in my view, the real competition lies in which company can offer a sufficiently capable medium lift launch vehicle early enough to meet the growing demand for Constellation deployment launches. China's commercial space landscape has evolved from numerous players with mere PowerPoint rockets in the late 2010s to a handful of serious projects in 2023. It'll be intriguing to observe over the next two years which companies thrive, which merely survive and which pivot away entirely from this industry. Thank you for watching.